Gregory Yob created Hunt the Wampus in 1973 after seeing some of the hide-and-seek style games distributed by the People's Computer Company. Uh, the games that he saw, such as Hercol, Snark and Mugwump, were all based on a 10x10 grid system using Cartesian coordinates, but Yob thought that he could create a more interesting game without using a grid system, and the result was Hunt the Wampus which is a fun little game. The idea is that you are trying to track down and kill uh, the Wampus. And you're tracking this down in a cave system that has a series, series of connected rooms, with each room being connected to three other rooms. The version of the game that I want to demonstrate came from the Walnut Creek CD and is a translation into Pascal by Paul H. Gilliam. Uh, this is a translation from the basic version of Wampus 2, uh, Wampus 2, sorry, that was published in the more basic computer games. Uh, that was released in 1979. Unfortunately, there are a few problems with the version on the Walnut Creek CD. Uh, for one, uh, Cave 3 is missing, so I've uh, recreated that from the basic source code uh, in the book. Uh, although, having said that, there is an error in the book so I also had to correct that as well. But that's been done, and I also needed to change some of the line endings in the K files because they were using Unix line endings instead of uh, CPM line endings. In any case, that's done now, and uh, I've re-released a, uh, a new LBR file containing those changes, and that's available on the Tech Tinkering website. Uh, you can find it via the accompanying article in the notes below. Well, I'll start Wampus, and then that will load, and we'll be uh, given the chance to read some instructions about the game. So we'll say yes to have a look at the instructions. And uh, there we are. So this explains it quite well, how we have to go through the room, and we have to be careful of things like bottomless pits and super bats. And also be aware that the, the Wampus can kill us, as well as our trying to kill it. And uh, then as we go through the rooms, we can move, well we can move from room to room, but we can also shoot arrows. So uh, that's the idea, is to try and shoot an arrow into the Wampus and kill it. If the Wampus hears an arrow being shot, then it will wake and it will move to an adjacent room. That room could be the room that you're already in, in which case it will kill you. So, um, if we do Cave Zero, which is the uh, dodecahedron, so the original uh, map for the game. And there we are. So it tells us that we are in a dodecahedron. And it says we can smell the Wampus. So the Wampus is in either room 1, 3 or 10. So at this point I could move to one of those rooms, um, but if I move to one of those rooms that the Wampus is in, then it'll kill me. So I'm going to shoot an arrow, and I'm going to pick room 1. So I'm going to do one room, and I'm going to go to room 1. So I missed. So You'll notice now that I, it says, it doesn't mention that I can smell a Wampus. So that means it's not in room 1, 3 or 10, and the Wampus has moved. So if I move into one of those rooms, I'll move into uh, room 1. And uh, there's no Wampus there. So I'll now move into room... Uh, room 5, room 2 is the one I came from, so I'll move into room 5. Right, okay. So it's saying I feel a draft. So that means that in room 4 or 6, that there is a bottomless pit. So I don't want to go into one of those rooms, uh, but I don't know which of those rooms it is. So I'll come back from there. I'll go back to room 1. And this time I'll try room 8. Ah, bats nearby. 
Right. Well, I don't want to go near the bats because they'll move me to a, a, a random room and it might be the room with the wampus in. In any case, I'll get lost. So I don't want to do that either. So I've moved back to room one again. And then I'm going to move back to room two. And this time I'll move to room ten, I think. That's nearby. Okay. Let's move back to room two. And then we'll move to room three. Right, so they can smell a wampus. I'm in room three and I can smell a wampus. Well, I know it's not in room two. It could be in room four. It could be in room twelve. I'm going to try and shoot an arrow through one room to room twelve. And there I have, I've got the wampus. So, uh, well, that's great, although probably not so great for the wampus. Uh, in any case, uh, as you can see, it's a fun little game. Uh, you can create a map to uh, to help you work out where you are and to track down the wampus. You can either uh, keep pursuing it or you can use a strategy where you go through the cave system and work out where it isn't and then eventually kill it with your last set of arrows. And uh, each cave system presents different challenges so you can uh, you can um, well, try the different caves but you can also create your own cave. Uh, which can be uh, well, a fun little thing to do. And uh, and that's it. So hopefully you enjoyed uh, seeing Hunt the Wampus. I'm glad that I'm able to get it working again and able to release a working version. Uh, do have a look at the accompanying article on the Tech Tinkering website. Um, please subscribe to the Tech Tinkering YouTube channel.